Okay, I figured I'd start off with the Lori Strode figurine. Uh, these are done, real quick, these are done by Barry Crawford. Clayguy.com is his website. Some of you may have seen his pieces at various horror or sci-fi conventions. I discovered him a little over a year ago at Cinema Wasteland and bought my Freddy Krueger. And then when I visited his website, I discovered the Halloween set. Uh, you can buy them from him two different ways, as a completed piece or as an unfinished kit, which is what I opted to do with my Halloween set, um, simply because I like putting these together and painting them. wanted to make them a little bit more unique. Uh, anyway, these are resin. Lori here stands approximately five and a half inches tall without the base. Pretty unique look to her. I like Barry's style. I of course painted her in her iconic outfit from Halloween. This is like a plastic knife that you can cut and glue inside the knife. There's a little slot in there where you can put it up in. She comes with a base, and he also sent a red material that you put on there to make it look like carpeting. But uh, I opted to just stick with a uh, gray base, and I actually glued some leaves onto it to give it a fall feel. And I wanted her to match my Loomis. I used basic acrylic paints. and then sealed her with a flat acrylic finish. They also come with nice name plates that you can put on the base. Barry also signs the bottom of each piece. As you can see right there with his web address. Not a whole lot of Lori Strode stuff out there, so I actually bought her first out of the set. Really like how she turned out. I was happy. Ready to carve the pumpkin with little Tommy Doyle. And that's Lori Strode. Okay, next up in my set, I'm going to showcase Dr. Loomis. Once again, not a whole lot of Dr. Loomis out there. So I actually bought him second in the set. Loomis stands approximately five and a half inches tall. About the same size as Lori. That's without the base. He comes in a nice iconic pose holding his pistol. Once again, I purchased this as an unfinished kit and putting together and painted him myself. He comes with just the generic base. Glued some leaves on there to give it that fall feel. Comes with the nameplate. Try to get a close up on his face here. Once again, used acrylic paints. Sealed it.
he's a pretty solid piece because of his coat pretty thick And there is Dr. Loomis. Okay, last but not least, is of course Michael Myers. Bought him last simply because, you know, I was excited to do the Lori and the Loomis because there isn't very much of them out there that's available. Uh, and I was still contemplating in my head how exactly I wanted to paint up Michael. Once again, I bought the unfinished kit. Um, his base is actually grass. And he had a couple leaves sculpted on, but to match the other two bases, I glued the uh, floral leaf pieces on here just to give it a more real look. He comes with the nameplate like all the others. They match. He's actually a bit taller than the other two. I don't think, I think it's going to get cut off. He's about six inches tall, so he's about a half inch taller than the other two. Just like Lori, he has the little plastic knife piece you can insert. Uh, I gave him, probably as far as color schemes concerned, more of an H2 look. Even though his uh, coveralls in part one were the greenish, which we won't get into. Uh, I really like this color and the wash I put on it. Depending on the light he's in, it sometimes will look blue. I try to have him in a more direct light here so you can see the actual color I painted him. Uh, his face, if I can get this to focus here. It's actually really dirty. really like the pose on Michael. This is probably my favorite sculpt of three. Very happy with the paint job on him. I'm very happy with this. And that stalking pose. Once again, clayguy.com. If you have some time, check out Barry's website. He has a bunch of different characters from horror, sci-fi, superheroes, uh, cult films. Check him out. Like I said, these are pretty unique, very cool pieces. Nice additions to a collection. So, check him out. Thanks for watching. Bum, bum, bum. Mr. Sandman, bring me a dream. Make him the cutest that I've ever seen. Give him two lips like roses and clover. Then tell him that his lonesome nights are over. Please turn on.